Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to do a video just talking about this new uh, theme I've noticed over the past few months, and that is games that look retro, that really aren't, um, that usually are super difficult. <laughs> I know uh, PC gamers have probably been experiencing this over the past, I don't know, five years, but console gamers, I would say, have had a little less of it, um, but it's definitely been more prevalent as of late. So, <clears throat> I'm not a big uh, digital download kind of guy. I really like physical media. It's difficult for me to find a game that looks retro um, looking, at least, on physical media. Uh, the PS4 has Retro City Rampage. I think it's like a limited edition run. They also have Shovel Knight. Neither of those are physical on the Xbox One, sadly, because I, I probably would pick those up physically. Um, but I have been kind of getting into the whole, they look retro, but they're really not thing more often as of late. Um, some of the free games with gold over the past few months have been Spelunky, Super Meat Boy, uh, Costume Quest 2, uh, Volgar the Viking, and Chariot. I also played Terraria uh, briefly a few months back. So, <clears throat> one of the things about most of these games, not Chariot and really not Terraria, is, uh, or Costume Quest 2, they... They tend to look retro and look cute and sort of simplistic, and then when you play them, they're super, super hard. So it's got this juxtaposition of it looks like kid-friendly or lighthearted, and then it gets really difficult. Those games piss me off. Um, I tend to give them a shot. I get, you know, into them a bit, and then I just kept getting angry each time I play them and stopping, and now I end up just deleting them after all is said and done. Um... What are some retro-looking games that you guys would recommend that maybe are on physical media that aren't super, super hard? Um, Terraria had a bit of a learning curve. I'm not a big crafting kind of guy, so I hope to maybe mess with that again in the future, but I wasn't really into that. Um, that's why Minecraft doesn't really do it for me. <clears throat> I don't want to really create my own stuff. Or maybe I'm just not good at creating my own stuff, I should say. Uh, super Meat Boy was way too hard. Uh, after a while for me, even though I did like it and got into it a little bit. And Spelunky, I really liked. Um, I even tried playing it with Beth and my friend Brian at one point, and I like it. It's just, it, it almost seems like it wants you to get annoyed between the deaths, and then, like, you beat a level and it doesn't save, so you have to go all the way back to the first level. I ended up getting to the second world, and I had to keep doing it over and over just to... Uh, have enough money and bombs and rope or whatever for the guy to create this, sh they creates a shortcut so that you can go back to that world, you know, from the get-go. And that's just annoying to me. It almost seems like putting obstacles in the way of the, the, the player just to make it more frustrating. I don't know. There's obviously no easy mode, you know. Um, but those games pissed me off. I really, really liked Costume Quest 2. Um, I thought it was kind of cute, lighthearted, not too difficult. It, it, it almost seems like a beginner's type RPG, and that was fine with me. I don't have a lot of time to play games, as I've said. So when I do, I want to play something that I'm making some kind of progress in. Uh, that one I popped in, and I really got into it. And it had like a charm to it, you know, it was funny. And I played it, I think, the next day, and then I beat it. It was about five or six hours long. So that one was perfect for me. I really liked Costume Quest 2. And uh, if they ever give away Costume Quest 1, I'll definitely play that as well. So what games do you guys recommend that look retro but aren't super, super difficult? Um, Volgar the Viking was, was on par with Spelunky. It was hard. And uh, Chariot wasn't hard, but I'm not a big fan of those, like, kind of... I don't want to say... They're not fetch quests. It's more like... Um, what do they call them? When you drag someone with you, like a whole game and you have to like kind of bodyguard them it sort of remind me of that with that whole dragging the chariot around so that one wasn't really my speed but yeah throw some uh, recommendations at me sadly undertale is not on console otherwise i would have picked that one up that looked really good and uh what other games do you enjoy guys that are in that vein drop me a message or a uh video response if you are so inclined thanks guys for watching it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.